one. Words fail to express my gratitude for this kindness you have done for the, for the blessed. I must insist you and your friends attend Tardia's service, service as honored guests. There is still much we must do to prepare, but please go and inform the others that it will be held in the dark. When you arrive, there will be an attendant present to explain the proceedings. Alright. Well, out with it then. That's because I learned so much about the Knights Blessed while you were away. And we helped them recover the lost heirloom out in the woods. I know I wasn't supposed to leave, but they really needed our help. There were sinner leaders, and as long as he accompanied you, and... But as long as he accompanied you, but do try to be more careful. Your injuries could have been a lot worse. What did you... Let's just say a little bird told me, um, and it's telling me now that Esigo's... This has business with us. Something the matter? They've asked us to attend the service? Of course we'll go. We held in the darker, isn't it? We'll take it. We'll take care not to be late, I promise. Between your early excursion and my patrol of the area for Sin Eaters, hopefully Gestola and Noriange will be able to finish their work in peace. Such a relief to know everything's going as planned. Join you in the darker shortly. The other willingly woman hands you a candle. He then points over a nearby corner where you might place it. Oh, I'm ready to volume turn up. It seemed only right that we show our faces. May we join you? Let us begin. I thank you all for coming to pay respects to our fallen daughter of the night. In the light, she was known as Todia, but in the dark, we shall remember her always as Menin. Let us each take a moment to offer her our prayers. We entrust her now to the night's sweet embrace. In darkness will she be free from pain and suffering, now and forevermore. May her soul find peace in the sunless sea of heaven, and in the love we bear for her in our hearts.
That vessel represents the night sky, the sunless sea of heaven. call upon you now, O bringer of shadow, to lead this gentle soul onto the sea. We call upon you, O warrior of darkness, to deliver her onto paradise everlasting. I am told you assisted in the preparations for the service. On behalf of the Blessed, you have my sincerest thanks. The enduring legend of the Warrior of Darkness owes much to the traditions of these people. And none were more ardent in their faith than Todia. She would have been greatly moved by your presence. You know I don't deserve such reverence. Look, I just like to punch people in the face. You might not deliver her to the heavens, but if you could deliver the night sky to her people, the real night sky, it would be the next best thing. Their prayers would finally be answered, they could gaze up at the firmament and see their ancestors in every twinkle of the stars. We cannot allow their hopes and dreams to drown in the light. We have to bring back the dark. If we don't, who will? Forgive me, thinking of all those we have lost, I... No, it's all right. We will bring back the dark. Mayhaps sooner than later, in fact. Arionje and I have finished deciphering the tablet, and its contents were most illuminating. Let us reconvene in my chambers. We have much to discuss. You have to admit, I got a little teary at the funeral service. Hopefully, Yashilda has good news to share. A chance to reclaim the night as it lit a fire in Minfilia that I would see kindled. <coughs> what do you suppose she's gleaned from the tablet? I have no doubt thou wilt find the contents of the tablet's most informative. Let's find out. Good you hear. Thanks to the Exalt's gift, our next course of action is now clear. Now these coffers are actually useful. Oh, maybe not. Oh.
wonder what this whole set looked like. <clears throat> let me first begin by <clears throat> let me begin by first explaining the origins of this tablet. I initially believed it might detail the history of the Church of the First Light. Much to my surprise, it dates back to the end of the Ranka Empire and has likely written under the direction of the reigning ruler. It was in a time of strife and unceasing war with neighboring nations. With each passing day, they yielded more and more territory to their enemies. In their desperation, petitions for aid were sent out to their allies. And this was one such petition. And you think this ancient petition will somehow help us? I get into Ixmaja? Indeed we do. For etched into the tablet is a method of which one may prove himself an ally of Ronkin, the Amronkin Empire. Provided you are able to decipher inside its structures, you can entreat the ruins' protectors to grant you a safe passage. The problem, however, is I presently lack the resources to decipher them in their entirety. We have but one recourse. There exists a stone monument inscribed within ancient Bronkan texts and translations into a more modern di dialect which came into use after the fall of the Empire. I'm confident it will suit our purposes. Where can we find this monument? Uh, here in Satia. Quite close to Sly Slitherbow, in fact. But the good news ends there, however, as it is the possession of a rather radical faction of dark worshippers, the children of the everlasting dark. If I am to study the monument, I must infiltrate their encampment. I have no intention of taking longer than absolutely necessary, but I will nevertheless require time to inscribe the text I need. To ensure that I will have enough, I am afraid I must ask you and Thancred to assist me. Before you even ask, the answer is no. If we are to remain unseen, our group must be as small as possible. All right, I'll stay here until you return. We won't be long. If anything should happen, you keep her safe. <clears throat> and let us convene outside to the west of Slitherbow where the path diverges. I have no right to involve you in our trouble. Still, without your help, today's service would not have been possible. The night blessed are in your debt. This is blue. The encampment we seek is to the north, and it would be foolish to simply rush in. The guard has been posted at Cleric to keep watch over the children. Perhaps he had ought to share of the recent activity. But we must tread carefully. There's a chance we may encounter them along the way. Stay close and alert, and I, will, and I would avoid a confrontation if possible. They rejoice in dealing death to others, claiming that in doing so, they cleanse their victims of sin and usher them onto this endless sea. I would rather not slay my hands defending myself against such bad men.
by the blessed dark. Thank goodness you are unharmed. You would have arrived sooner, but we were too. But we too had a rather unwelcome visit from the children. You are acquainted with Master Matoya, then. My apologies. The children have been acting strange of late, so I thought to take a closer look. Careless. Strange. What have you seen? At first, there seemed to be nothing out of the ordinary. The usual gathering of ingredients and poisons were from flora and fauna. Then I took notice of the venomous spiders. They've been breeding them in much greater numbers. It's as if they're preparing for something. Any ideas as to what? It could be anything, really. If it meant the end of the blessed, nothing would be too cool if I lived for them. Perhaps we can use this pre present preoccupation with spiders to our advantage. If you were to introduce a threat to the nest where they keep them, the children would be compelled to save them. Bees, for example, are a natural predator of spiders. Set them loose on the net, and they <laughs> we would have our opportunity to sneak into their camp. What a mischievous plan. I like it. With a bit of smoke, we could be able to subdue a few colonies long enough to secure their flies. Do you have anything that might be of use? We should have smoke bombs at the, the outpost just over there. Then it's settled. Grab a few smoke bombs from the outpost and search for out for beehives. I imagine the bees won't take too kindly to your visit, but once they're knocked out, they'll take the beehives and bring them back here. You will survive it.
The guard returns to Slitherbow, but not before offering his thanks. As for the beehives, Thankard and I have su were successful in acquiring what we need. How did you fare? It's more than enough. The children are certain to be displeased. Let us hurry before the bees begin to stir. The children's settlement is to the west, a place called Woven Oaks. According to the god, there is an airway apart from the entrance which leads to the spider's nest. If the fates are kind, the way will be clear. Up there in the airway. Do you see it? A bit far, perhaps, but we should be able to toss the bag through. Though we would possibly loosen the ropes, keep, keep it enclosed, enough that it falls open when it lands inside. May I do the honors? That should do it. Now we wait. What is that? Bees by the abyss. They're everywhere. Help. Somebody help. We have to save the spiders. Sounds like our plan is working. Still, it is quite likely not all, all were driven away from the posts. We should, if you should come to blows with the children, I'll see to it that any signs of struggle are concealed. Failing that, I will create a distraction to buy you Strollis more time. Should anyone get past me, it falls to you to guard her. Your concern is appreciated, but I certainly doubt it will come to that. Why do I get the feeling you enjoy the idea of my loafing about board in the shadows? Come now, Thancred. The shadows are a fitting place for a warrior of darkness. Now, if you both are ready. Nine seventeen. There it is. At three, it has three. I'm practically a third of the way done.
This doesn't feel fair. Might not be able to turn on quests, but maybe I can uh, leech some uh, XP from killing stuff. The font of scene suggests there is a chamber for a prayer. At the very least, we not they would not place this near potential distractions from their workshop. Perhaps the monument is further in. Yes, this is it. Oh, we will be but a moment. Keep watch with the entryway. On second thought, would you mind examining the murals on these walls while I look over this? At a glance, I would tell that they are old, predating the, the founding of the blessed and the children, in fact. We are not like, we are not like to come here a second time. It would behoove us to learn all we can. Meryl appears to be very old. A ruler sits atop a throne and attended by their subject. This mirror appears to be ancient. A warrior in the middle stands triumphant over what appears to be a creature of shadow. Other figures surround the warrior, rejoicing in their victory. Nero appears to be fairly old. A knight shields himself and their comrades from the encroaching darkness. The central figure is considerably faded. Actually, it looks like the Warriors of Light. We got a black mage, we got an archer.
Teleportation. Out of there to safety. And I have to go back to Monk because I can't turn in the quest. I believe I know for so no, now have everything needed to finish deciphering the tablet. Tell me, Eskis, did the murals appear to be of any significance? Picture of heroes from the Age of Gods, the Ronkin Empire, and immediately before the Flood. Very astute observations. Perhaps in another lifetime, you would be a curator of antiquities. No, it, I, it has no bearing on the task at hand. Perhaps that knowledge may prove to be of use in the future. I was ready to slid the bow. The others are waiting. After we return, the two of you should rest a while. No doubt Rudon will be eager to have you sample his cooking. As soon as I discover anything report, you'll be the first to know. Esagos, the god told me you left with Master Batoya to wolf an oath. And no sooner do you return that she locks herself in her chambers without so much word. She knows how I worry when she leaves without telling me. But she is safe, and that is all that matters. You must be hungry after such a journey. Why not have a seat there by the fire? The stew will be ready soon. Thank you. 
serving to those who become the hard workers. But we cannot be blind to the nation's corruption. He is not as he was when he served. was not created at all. I fear it was absorbed, that he has been subdued to their life. I have given thought to such a course of route, and dare not speak until more is known. By the time you gain the enlightenment, it may be too late, if it is not already. easier to put my faith in men so infatuated with secrecy. I have had my suspicions ever since the exile gave me proof of that day, but now I must die. The eighth tumble taught me that in all that followed, everything was plain to have seen. Good luck. Well, shit. Oh, I forgot to place over here. Lord Forthree, how good it is to see you. How long has it been? Not since your inauguration, unless I'm mistaken. Too long, at any rate. May I say how humbled I am to be invited not only into your city, but your home. You are as generous as ever. And you as disingenuous. Let us dispense with the pleasantries. This merry band of dissidents people are calling warriors of darkness they have slain Sin Eaters, and by all accounts, the Crystarium is complicit in their villainy. And now, I hear reports of your people obstructing my soldiers, so I must ask, what exactly do you think you are doing? I might ask you the same thing. It should be clear, even to you, that defeating the Light Wardens represents the world's only hope of survival. Even now, the people of Lakeland and Ilmeg rejoice in the return of night. For a hundred years, they yearned for a means to fight back against the Sin Eaters, and at last they have found one. Yet you choose to stand idly by and do nothing. Why? Why? Because this hope you cling to is nothing more than a fever dream. An exercise in futility. Even should you slay the Sin Eaters, the world as we know it is beyond salvation. With what little land and resources remain, the people would be free only to starve. Before long, they would turn to violence, then to war, and ultimately usher themselves unto oblivion. They require a firm hand to shepherd them from the edge. The hand of a king. Nay, a god. I will see their dreams fulfilled, their wishes granted. I will give them peace, order, and they shall never want for bliss.
Men are fickle creatures who entertain vague ideals without the faintest notion what they cost. But a little fear can go a long way towards helping them realize what it is they truly need. Sanctuary. And they shall find none in this world save that which I afford them. That is why the Sin Eaters exist. To unite the world under my dominion. A paradise fit to grace the Eighth Umbral Era. What was that? A minor epiphany, nothing more. You have always held sway over those around you. Those who defy you must submit or die. What sits before me is the inevitable result of bloated privilege and unchecked power. But man is more resilient than you think. His achievements are not the product of violence and bloodshed, but compassion and understanding. This calamity is but another crisis to be overcome. And we will, once we eliminate the Sin Eaters. You poor deluded fool. These people care not for the morrow. They care only for the now. And the contentment they lack. What good is a paradise to them if it is a thousand years in the making? Or even a hundred? You underestimate them, Lord Forthry. They see further than you think. I have beheld it in the blood and sweat and tears of those who would sacrifice everything for a future they may never know, that their children may never know. I have beheld it in the hopes and dreams of those who came before, which we bequeath to those who come after, that they might in turn build upon the foundations laid by our forebears. These are the bonds which hold man and his world together, not your gilded chains, and I will resist your every effort to shackle him. In summary, you will continue to support the villains hunting my Sin Eaters? With tremendous enthusiasm, for I have faith in the future they would build. Oh, why do I even bother? Fools, a lot of you. So naive, so painfully predictable. Did you imagine I did not know your mind? That I would wait until after this meeting to dispatch my forces? Even as we speak, they march to the Sin Eater's defense. Insurrection will not be tolerated. The people of this world are mine to rule, mine to command. And you are no exception! What? How did he... Insolent swine! I will not stand for this! Do you hear me? All well, three, I'm surprised you can stand at all. You speak for the Knights Blessed? I do. I presume that is your doing. If you have come to Pale, I must insist that you first return him to us. You're in no position to make demands.
By Lord Vorthry's decree, Raktika now falls under the governance of Yulmore. You will henceforth answer to us. Is that so? And the children of the Everlasting Dark have acquiesced to this madness. We have reached an accord, yes. Too many times have the Knights Blessed shunned Yulmore's overtures of friendship. The risk that you harbor hostile intentions has grown too great to ignore. Therefore, his lordship has claimed dominion over this forest and bestowed executive authority upon the children of the Everlasting Dark. In his wisdom, Lord Vorthry has agreed to recognize ours as the only permissible expression of dark worship. It's one true faith. You and your false creed are a blight on these woods. A foul, unholy corruption that must be cleansed. Little wonder the warrior of darkness visits both Lakeland and Ilmeg, yet shuns Raktika. Your perverted teachings hold blessed shadow at bay. You have accepted the yoke of Yulmore to spite us, then. Fools. Darkness will never return to these skies while they hold sway. Those of you minded to obey his lordship are to make for woven oath with all haste. We will leave you, but you may have time to prepare. Woven Oath? Are you suggesting we abandon our faith to join those salads? What has your faith afforded you thus far? Nothing! We will guide you along the righteous path. And should we refuse? Anyone found here upon our return will be considered a traitor to Yulmore, and dealt with as such. We will discuss these developments after I have tended to our casualty. And the plot thickens. Lake Yulma has gained a foothold here in these woods, but it's ill of the Knights Blessed. Surely there's something we can do to help the Knights Blessed, isn't there? The guard hath been afflicted with the most terrible and afflicious poison. We have attempted all manner of healing incantations, alas, his condition remains unchanged. At present, we can but slow the poison's advance. I pray it will afford us significant time to find a cure. Sufficient time, I think. How fair is the young guard? The poison spread throughout his system long before he was brought here. At present, there is not we can do but try to ease his pain. Do not blame yourselves, my friends. All that has, can be done has been done. Even had we reached him sooner, there would have been made little difference. The children employ countless poisons. 
Finding the suitable antidote is an impossible task. What of the rest of the blessed? How have they taken the news of Yoma's generous proposition? With anger and dismay. We cannot hope to oppose both them and the children. We consider that a convocation of all the nice blessed that we might consider their ultimatum, but I know how they will answer. Master Matoya, I am truly sorry. We will not, cannot, abandon our fate. But there is no reason for you to suffer for our decision. Your work is not yet done, and you, will, you still have time to flee. Flee? I am not wont to run for my troubles. In fact, with Eskos' rivals, I am minded to take the offensive. Yumurin's presence here so plainly stems from a desire to protect the Light Warden. I say we seek it out and slay the creature before they return. Where darkness fell upon, fall upon Raktika, they would have no cause to remain. All of which is rather easier said than done. Unless, of course, you finally deciphered the tablet. I have, as a matter of fact, and with it I can prepare everything we need to enter Ixmaya. What say you all? We will need to act quickly, but I believe it can be done. We cannot deny our fate, but one course lies before us. Well, we are villains, are we not? This is like a you're sure. Good. I leave the blessed in your capable hands, Runa. Very well. <laughs> I see no change in your mind. But all that is dark, I swear to keep the blessed safe. According to the tablet, we will need to to obtain a seal used to identify the allies of Ronka in times past. One such seal should be waiting for us in a complex of underwater ruins not far from here. I have some experience with subquark excursions, do you not? Yeah, I can breathe underwater. <laughs> and this should prove a simple task for you. The ruins you seek are at the bottom of Lake Lake Tsu Tusi Mekta. Tusi Mekta. Well. You see to that, Minfitia and I will remain here to help shore up the bow's defenses. Your aid will be greatly appreciated. For sexy Runar. Oh. All right. I have three or four. Yeah, three. There you are. Ready for a swim? The seal we seek should be stored in a chamber somewhere inside the ruins beneath the lake. However, the entrance is, is seemingly protected by a subtle locking mechanism rooted in the symbolism of Ronkin culture. The Ronkins sought to live in harmony with nature and considered, considered certain animals to be sacred. Uh, foremost of the, their pantheon was the snake, portrayed by the protector of the wood, as the protector of the wood, an arbiter of life and death. Below, there are four others, each equal in rank. The Curiel, the Calibri, the Opa Opo, and the Wolf. Characterized by the bringers of liberty, words, enlightenment, and harmony, respectively. To open the chamber containing the seal, the tablet states that one must pay due respect to three of these bees by placing one's palms on monuments wrought in their image, and that this must be done in a specific sequence. If my interpretation is correct, the order should 
can be discerned from the three commandments which follow. Give praise unto the snake, by its strength to do our lands prosper. Be as the opo opo, rival thy, thy kin. As all parts seek betterment, so too does the whole. Snake, opo opo. He is the wolf, move as one. When peace goes to all who seek harmony with their kin. The tablet says not of the placement, size, or appearance of the monument, said Lass. Hopefully all will, will become clear when you reach the bottom of the lake. Go safely. Snake, opo, opo, and wolf. Snake, opo, opo, wolf. All right. First things first. Found his statue of a snake. A bobo.
and both. Once more, you sense something stir elsewhere in the lake. Perhaps the chamber containing the seal is open. The door reveals the opens to reveal the pedestal upon which rests the medallion. You take it and secure it inside your clothing. Did you find it? This medallion, it bears the owl signia of the empire. It can be no doubt. This is the seal of Ranka. Well done, Eskos. We'll begin our preparations to enter Exmaya in earnest. Ooh, it was a weapons coffer. Yeah. It's kind of cool. During the seal, it would be possible to enter Xmaya and molested by its guardians. I will go ahead to slit the bow and inform the others. Then you have recovered for your exertions. Be with us in the cavern leaning east out of the village. Uh, five quests, uh, five things. Uh, this one. Discovered a new location. Good, you're here. Runar opened the gate for us, but moments ago. Beyond lies Exmaya and presumably the Light Warden. It did not take long for the Woods Protectors to find me when last I came here, and I expect them to fall upon us just as quickly this time. Though we carry the seal, there is no reason for us to let down our guard. Now, let us seek out the Warden and put an end to this rain over the, these woods. Oh. Oh, okay. Did sort it. No, it's not. Oh, jeez. I'm so warm. Taking off my headphones just because I am warm in these headphones. volume on it. I don't want to put it through my regular speakers because I don't want it to interfere with my microphone. <laughs> Is there a problem open. Do I at least get some of the sound? Well, the music seems to be going. Man, these flowers seem like some sort of path.
Yo. You trespass upon sacred ground. Be gone! We mean you no harm. Sister, is that...? We are allies of the Empire of Ronka. As is customary, we come bearing the seal of the Emperor. Hmm. Genuine. Then perhaps there is yet hope. Perhaps. We acknowledge your seal, but we must be certain of its authenticity. Follow the Azure Flowers to our village. There we will judge if you are friend or foe. Try not to stray from the path. All right? Follow the flowers. Would it kill them to escort us? But if it affords us an opportunity to investigate Ixmaya, fine. Out for now. All right, I'm going to Venom. We have the seal. Okay, higher conditions make it so I can't hear. Ah, uh, but I had more trees at least. Straight to the point, I see. Very well. Okay, there wasn't a go. Hmm, there is no mistaking the crest of the royal family. It is of proper size, and by its weight, it is plainly as made from gold. The seal is indeed genuine. For 3,000 years we have waited for this moment, and now you are finally here. I bid you welcome, Alas of Ronka. I am Elmet, Chieftainess of Fanau. Oi, Met, her younger sister. Hey, Met, a pleasure. We are beginning to lose hope that we will come. I beg your pardon. These are troubled times for my people. Though I can but imagine what has compelled you to venture into our woods. You must be tired from your journey. Come, take your ease. If you would like, I can show you about the village. Though I must warn you, it is a long way down to the forest floor, so watch your step.
So I bet it's staring intently in your general direction. This way, um, what's your name? As it goes, wind small. As it goes. That is a common name now. Is, and is, this is a common name nowadays? Our times have changed. Well, I'm not sure how common it is. But I digress. Come and be sure to, to watch your step. It's at eighth route. As bearers of this heel, you have the right to know what became of the Empire, my people's purpose here. We are descendants of the palace guard, which served under the last emperor, and in this day we carry on the duty of our forebears, the final decree of his eminence before Ronka's fall. By the wisdom of our people was Ronka made to thrive. Such knowledge must never be forgotten, nor may it be suffered to fall into the hands of the wicked. Keep it safe, keep it secret, keep it safe, and look to the coming of our allies. Unto them you shall bequeath our all, and thus will Ronka live on. By his command, we have retain remained in Raktika Greatwood, guardians of Ronka's ruins, and the wisdom held within. I hope thou wilt not think the question impertinent, but did thy people famed longevity, people's famed longevity perchance play a part in the Emperor's decision to entrust his mission unto thee and thine? That was one reason, yes. We vis. This would easily live to see three of your elven... elven lifetimes. We were also the fiercest fighters. They are none more fit than us to stand watch over the remains of Ronka. But our duty has grown ever more perilous in the wake of the flood. Sediment such as this one is plentiful before the light claimed dominion of the land, but now Thano is all that remains. Our numbers dwindle year by year. Before long, there will be no one left to honor the Emperor's wishes. And we believe you... And you believe we are the allies to whom we you have waited? You have the seal, do you not? After three millennia of waiting, that alone is nothing short of a miracle. Truth be told, I was begun to think that you would never come. Sister. We are glad of your presence here in the Great Wood. The wisdom of Ronka is yours, should you wish it. You need only ask. Hey, we're looking for a light warden. <laughs> Exposition. <laughs> you come in search of the light warden. I mean, apologies, but I do not know where it makes its lair. You met, do you recall any sightings of this creature? Hmm, not these past 30 summers. 30? That would mean, how old are you exactly? Young enough to remember, <laughs> which, which comes to knowledge. There may yet be one among us who have seen or heard of the abomination you seek. You have lived to speak with the other Vs, and, and of course, of course. Then you should split up and acquire individually. If anyone knows something, we will hear it while there is yet time to act.
Uh, hi, have you seen a uh, Lightworn? It's not my intention to pry, but your voice is carry far. I know what it is you would ask me. Unfortunately, the answer is no. I've not seen the Lightworn. I patrol the ruins perimeter regularly, and it is, if it were hiding nearby, I would know about it. Hey, have you seen the Light Warden? An outsider, but how? By the gods, allies of the Empire. My s sincerest apologies for failing to note your arrival. It was the Warden you wished to know about. Yes, my mother. Mother, may she rest be peace, told me once of its appearance in these woods. Before settling here in Fano, she lived in a village near Retiha Falls until it was destroyed by the Sin Eaters. While out on patrol one day, she spotted a swarm of abominations, one of which was different from the rest. It was larger, for one thing, and what struck her was the way it, it, its fellows seemed to revere it. She was convinced that she had seen was the Light Warden. The exchange with Coriel has taught you something about the Light Warden's possible whereabouts. Oh boy. Light Warden? No, I've not seen it. But I have witnessed the horrors of the Lesser Eaters, how they are wont to hunt in packs and carry off their victims rather than consuming them on the spot. I suspect the Warden is a grotesque, cor corpulent thing, waiting patiently for its minions to bring its nest meal. I search for the light or the account say I've ever laid eyes on it. Our duty is to protect the ruin, nothing more. We have no need to strike out, out in search for such foe. I pray the others were able to provide what I could not. In Raktika Falls? Why was I not told of this? I think I see now why it has never been spotted in our patrols. I've never heard of this Raktika Falls. I can but assume it lies deeper than the woods of Ixmaya? Just so, but the tunnel which leads there collapsed after a rather bloody battle with the Eaters, and has not been passable for many years. There were several attempts to clear away the rubble, yet each time we were driven back. In the end, we were forced to give it up as lost, thereby making it a suitable place for the warden to take sanctuary. There's perhaps one way to enter, though it would be a great peril to you and your companions. The Katana Raffle, a temple to the northeast, it has been sealed for centuries, and within is a path that leads to the falls. Can it be opened? For the allies of Ronka, I can. First, you must go to the Kumul Astropolis. Is once the flow of magic is restored there, the path through the katana ravel it can be opened. This may sound a simple task, but there are certain obstacles which prevent us from tending to, to it ourselves. And we know not how to overcome them. The Emperor never granted our forebears leave to look upon the secrets we have charged with protecting. That we might not be tempted, that means that the means to do so were withheld from us. You can but show your you the way, the rest will be up to you. It would seem we have our work cut out for us then, shall we? Well, we don't have time to waste.
Let us be about it then. If that is your wish, it is my duty to escort you. While we attend to matters of the Mulastropolis, I will, I will ask that your sisters accompany Oryanje and Thancred and, and share with them all they can of these woods. While we are of every intention of investigating Rectic Falls, it is yet possible the light worn dwells elsewhere. With that in mind, it would behoove us to prepare an alternative course of action. We met? We met? See met? I leave them to you. Yes, sister. Should our present course prove false, that not... Doubt not, but that Sankrid and I will find any and all possible paths forward. Finally. Now I got the full set. Still looks kind of weird, but anyway. Whatever. I like the fist weapons, though. Kind of cool. Hold on, I need to refresh my beverage. Be right back.
Yeah, that, that took a little longer than I thought. <sighs> Get a little bit. All right. I'll turn my headphones down. I guess that louder than my earphones. Ah. What do you think lies in the heart of Cool Looktropolis? Unfortunately, it, is, it too was sealed shut by the, the order of his eminence. If we are to open it, we must first uh, look for the to the morning stars. Come, I will show you to the way. We are able to keep up, I see. Well done. Ahead lie the morning stars, four monuments built to tribute to the guardians of Raktika. Beyond them is the Great Pyramid of Uxnir. There, the flow of magic must be restored. It said the monuments are themselves the keys to opening the, the pyramids. Though I know not how, this is for you to discover. Another puzzle. Wonderful. I would have a closer look. It is indeed another puzzle, but for a blessing, it appears to be similar to the one we uh, encountered at the lake. These statues are all depictions of the divine beasts mentioned in the tablet. No doubt they all open the way into the, into the pyramid in like manner. We have but to discern the correct order. Let's split up and search the area for clues. These ruins are covered in ancient inscriptions. The answers may well be hiding among them. Indeed, it may be best to transcribe them if they are, there are numerous as you say. Better than risk overlooking something. Though, wrong trans though transcription would prove impractical for you, not being versed in wrong conscript, no matter. You can employ a different approach. Impressions. Here. I have thought to have these clay tablets to record any ins the significant imagery we discovered, but they will serve you just as well. Take impressions of any inscriptions you find. We'll start at the base of the pyramids. You begin at the top. When you're finished, return here and I'll translate your findings. Yeah, take it a pressure of the writing, the writing inscribed on the monument. Oh, man.
Oh, did that too quick. It's kind of annoying that somebody's doing the exact same thing. Also, well beat on a bird, and somebody's in my way of clicking the shola. This should be good and good use of those tablets. Yes, here's four of them. Well done. A moment while I decipher what you found. Apologies for the delay. Nothing we saw at the base of the pyramids gave any hint of the solutions of the puzzle, focusing instead on how to proceed, having followed, solved it. Your findings, on the other hand, appeared to form a riddle. Once assembled, it reads as follows. Come together, share despair. Go thy ways, dread burdens bear. Mark the crown, heed its call. Avert thy gaze forever fall. I had assumed that the puzzle would involve a sequence, but from what Almet and I were able to gather it is but a matter of fusing one of the statues with ether. your talent for finding solutions to vexation problems, I think it's best you choose the statue. Right then, after you select the statue, I'll imbue it with the required ether. Should it prove to be a trap, I'll be more than capable of warding off any malign magic it may contain. Now, which statue will it be? I will statue. Alright, okay, this works. How do I know? Because I cheated and looked it up. The ether has been absorbed. I really do have, you do re really do have a talent for these things. I have something called the internet. <laughs> We should be clear now. Come let us. Someone approaches. Uh, uh, sister. Uh, uh, sister. Smith? What are you doing here? What has happened? You moan soldiers. They've entered Ixmaya. You moan soldiers. What are the blessed? That's it. Nothing specific, but it seems the Euromorans have little interest in Slitherbow or its people. According to our scouts, the, their general and his men made all haste for the gate to uh, upon finding it. Together with Sancred, Ilmet, and some uh, a few others have engaged them in the border. We are to return and assist Ilmet at once. They are not to set foot near the ruins of Thana. We will see to matters here and return as quickly as we can. Understood? Yes, sister. Be careful. I knew time was short. I did not expect the Yomoans to move so swiftly. But we have come too far to turn back now. I 
Time is against us, friend. Quickly into the pyramid. Mikasa Tupasa. Oh, I remember this. The switch should be be through these doors in the confessional of Tupasa. The elder. But why is it not open? Magic appears to be flowing through the walls, but it's being instructive as it approaches the door. Hmm. Is it not strange that only one of these pedestals bears an owl statue? Strange indeed. The second statue is likely hidden to keep the door sealed. We can cover more ground if we split up. I'll not take the chamber to the south as it goes to the one to the east. I'll search the chamber to the west. I've looked everywhere and wait, what is that? I think it's the owl statue. The statue, you found it. It looks looks light enough. We need by return it to the other altar, no? 
I might assume so, but nothing about these ruins has ever been so quite so simple. I sense a strange anim uh, energy emanating from the eyes of the statues in the corridors of this place. Should be should this figure be moved, it would not surprise me for them to suddenly start a life. Trap then, for the unsuspecting as they attempt to return this to the rightful place. Nicely, costume would serve us well that well here. Which is why I would ask you to deliver the statue to the main chamber. An abundance of magic yet courses through these walls, for my eyes distractedly so. I believe yours, on the other hand, would more aptly perceive the traps than they are. Down on me. All right, then. We'll meet you at the door to the confessional of Tupasa, the Elder. I have two minutes. So part of the reason why I killed these rails. Okay, so. That part is easy enough. Let's see here. Here we are. Easy peasy beautiful. Successfully delivered the statuette to the altar. The statue is returned, but was that enough? I believe it was. I can see ether flowing to the door now. Pray this means an end to the tricks and traps of these ruins. Well done. You are but one step from entering the Kitana Ravel, but I must warn you this last step is without question the most perilous. Overall, this final trial, the path forward will open to you. Path leading with more traps and puzzles, I'm sure. Did the Emperor always th take such pleasure in wasting the time of his allies? <sighs> Let us end this, Eskos, while time is set on our side. Before you enter, I would tell you that of the trial that awaits you. The chamber is said to be filled with all manner of devices to keep trespassers away from the switch. The most potent being wards of displacement. They may very well may force you into danger. Should you become separated, please use these. Whisper weeds that will allow us to communicate no matter where we are uh, find ourselves. I think Esikos and I can work out how to use these these well enough. Thank you. All right, Eskos, the sooner we finish this, the sooner we'll return to the others. Let's, let's do our duty. Sister, sir, can you hear me? Two soldiers have broken through our defenses. Follow them. They are not to reach this temple, understood? Their soldiers somehow made it past our sisters, no doubt, on their way here. All the more reason they should hurry, then.
Uzi. They're massive. How are we going to get around them? We'll draw their attention with the glamour. It will not last long. The moment they are distracted, we must run with all haste. Oh, petition device. This should end well. There's no turning back. Two <laughs> separate chambers dismissed. Poison. Has cough nullified my magic. Markets of the floor are cough. I think they show the way. Yay, I figured it out. Somehow we were still in one piece. This means little to the others. Do not hurry. What was that noise? By the gods! Run! We have to jump. Well, oh, there's no going back now, I praise. Not much further. Sister, they've reached the pe temple. I fear they're too fast. Be careful of the traps inside and nearly there. I've un unheard of anybody to outpace the beast. Would it be Ranjit? If so, precious little time. Oh, the door. Wonderful. I can but imagine what awaits us inside. There you are. Away with you.
quickly the door. It seems to be working. I think not. Expertly done. How was I to know that that would happen? It looked like any other part of the floor. Might now be an opportune time to strike a bargain? We poisoned a number of villagers in Slitherbow with a toxin brewed for us by the children. This is the antidote. I dare say you know how potent their concoctions are, and the futility of trying to counteract their effects. Now, now. Try anything here, and we're all likely to fall. Eventually someone will come to our rescue. Or yours. Promise us safe passage, and we'll give you the antidote. Do we have a deal? We do not negotiate with the enemy. The villagers' lives are forfeit, as is yours. General? Do not fail. Sure. How noble and pointless. Is everyone all right? What in the... Uriyoshi! At once! Down with you! Stola. Hmm. 
Thank you, Ranjit's cohort said there's sense to fall back. We met should be here soon with word from Chant Feno. Should hold our position here until she arrives. Alright, I'm gonna pick up this quest. That is strangely quiet. Well, Matt, please tell me you know if that hole would lead, might lead out into the woods somewhere. Were there another means of exiting the temple? There was no question that we would know about, know of it. But I fear it is little consequence, for we have tried to mark the depths of the pit and failed. To fall from such a height. Sister, I come bearing news. The Muran soldiers and the children have fled Ixmaya. They have been in Slitherbow as well, though they yet remain in the swamps near Lakeland. Unfortunately, a number of the blessed are poisoned while fending off the soldiers. One we believe to be of their order has, has found lost in Ixmaya, feverish and badly wounded. He was taken to Fano for treatment, but I fear, fear there is little we can do for him. He and the other blessed will not last long without an antidote. Then we must act quickly if we are to, if you are spare vial. When Philly and I can deliver it to the blessed at the bow. You and Oriange should return to Fano and tend to the wounded villager there. How about Ishtola? I know it seems callous of us to leave, but she left from that hole for a reason. We have to save the blessed, whatever it takes. All right. The sisters and I will remain here. We must be certain no soldiers are still begging about. Promesigos, let's not Yestola's sacrifice be in vain. Fanau. Alright, before I get caught up on her, on things, I'm getting into a rest area, which is here, and I'm gonna end the stream here. We could probably do some things such as uh, other offline things, but I'm not going to continue because if I do, I'm just going to get caught up on it, and then the next thing I know, I got to switch over to Bears and Dragons, and I will have not prepped a thing. So... Uh, catch us later, later tonight for Bears and Dragons. Um, I am so caught up on this again. I, I played this already, like, before. And I, I just, I loving it so much. Maybe I'll do bonus streams the rest of the week. I don't know. Actually, the rest of the week until uh, next Saturday when I should stream again. Um, I'm going to try, I'm going to attempt to get... My other three classes uh, caught up in levels, so we can roll quest, get those roll quests uh, taken care of. Uh, we're at 76. Goal, I suppose, would be to get into 75. Or, or uh, get them to 76, as, uh, at least 76, to, to match my muck. Um, <laughs> there's four levels. But um, I got some methods for doing that. All right. Uh, thank, you, thank you for watching. Bears and Dragons tonight. Uh, seven ish, seven thirty eight ish, depending. Oh boy, we're almost to the end of this campaign, dude. And we'll probably, I'll probably take a couple weeks off to recover. Uh, other things happening around there, but uh, I will see you next time.